What's going on guys, Orza here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback SBC card and it is going to be CR7 to review today. Boys, I'm honestly shocked. As soon as I saw this card, I said to myself, wow, they actually gave him a flashback card while the team of the year is in packs. That is so, so awkward, but hey, I will take it. He's still six foot two. He still has got a high low work rate. He still has the five star skill moves, but he's the weak foot is what changed. He went from my four-star weak foot to a three-star weak foot. That could be a little bit awkward, but I feel like it's going to be pretty much the exact same. If we are comparing this card to his gold card, we are looking at a plus two to pace, a minus 14 to shooting, a minus six to passing, a minus three to dribbling, a minus five to defending, and a minus five to physicals as well. You can clearly say, you know, this card is worse than the gold version, but we are going to see how he actually plays in game. Now, the Hunter Kem style for me is the way to go. It has to be the way to go. The Hunter Kem style is just so beautiful in this card it's ridiculous he's got 90 agility already so you don't really need to touch the dribbling stats apart from that ball control that ball control could be a little bit of a problem but for me just give him max pace give him max pace make his shooting ability really good as well and make him a cr7 that we all know in game 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed you best believe this guy is going to be insanely fast shooting ability he's got 87 attacking positioning 88 finishing with the 87 shot power he's got 81 long shots 90 what is that 90 no sorry 89 volleys i have to do quick maths there either way 82 penalties as well he's passing him with a team i must admit is not looking great like look at that 72 vision 86 crossing 80 freaky accuracy 72 short passing 67 long passing with the 84 curve he's dribbling ability as i said it's looking pretty decent apart from that ball control he's got 90 agility 79 balance 87 reactions 82 ball control 90 dribbling with a 74 composure that 74 composure could also be a big problem now his physical stats he still has his jumping the heading accuracy is obviously lower the stamina is 85 which should be enough to last for the whole 90 minutes he has got 69 strength and he also does have got the 60 aggression as well now when it comes down to links i've got the dybala Dybala, Ronaldo, obviously, you know, this flashback card is when he used to play for Manchester United. And obviously, linking, linking him up with Dybala right now looks a bit awkward, but it is what it is. You get that full chemistry in that right mid position, which is all perfect. You also got Trent, Rio, Suzoko, and Aguero in this team. I will be playing CR7 in a 4-4-2 in that striker position. I'll play him in a right wing position and a cam position as well in a 4-2-3-1. But let's get into the games. Alan on the ball. CR7, nice little turn. Oh, he's dribbling. He's dribbling his... Go on, go for that left foot finish. That is obviously the three-star weak foot coming to play. Do I feel like that finish right there would have gone in with like a four-star weak foot? Most likely not because it was a very awkward angle, I would say. But he's dribbling right there. Seemed quite normal. Ronaldo, going to go for that quick one to... I think he's on onside. Yeah, he is onside. All right, come on. Gonna go for that cross goal finish. That has to go in. That has to go in. The guy even moved the keeper that way. And Ronaldo still placed it right into the corner. I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was offside. But I'll take the goal. Ronaldo. Quick turn. Gonna go for that over top through ball. And the pass is gonna be horrendous. Those kind of stuff I'm expecting from him. The fact that he's long passing and short passing has obviously been decreased. I can understand why that's not gonna work. Gonna give it to CR7. I'm gonna try this one more time. Over top through ball all the way to the other side. Yeah, he really can't do it. With both feet as well. I tried it at the left. I tried it at the right. And he literally cannot do it. It was wide open up there. All he has to do is obviously get it over the fullback. But he really can't do it. To Aguero. Nice little pass there. Good run from CR7 as well. Try to go for this around the corner. Oh, when dribbling. He's dribbling, I must admit. It does feel worse. It does 100% feel worse than the gold card. I'm noticing it a little bit slower, and I am noticing his touches are not that precise. Give that to Dybala. Is Ronaldo going to make that run up? He is eventually going to make it. Nice touch. Can't turn right there. That's what I mean. If with the gold card, or even with like the informs or anything like that, he's taking an instant touch to that left or right, and he's just going. He's literally going. He's going to be through on goal, right? But with this card, he takes like some very slow touches sometimes, which doesn't allow me to kind of accelerate into the open spaces. Nice turn. Nice turn. McGeady spin as well. McGeady spin cancel. Fake shot. Lacoqueta. Ball roll. Go for that extra touch. Go for that finish. He's given it as a penalty. For me, come on now. That's not a pen. Let's all be fair. It's not a penalty. The guy has literally touched me. Like, look at this. 
Like, waving is it? It's all the way to the side. Yeah, look, like, how is that a penalty? I've even took the shot. But I'll take the penalty either way. Let's see if we can hit it in. He's got an 82 pence to his game, boys. Gonna go for this little cheeky chip towards the top bins if I can get it there. I don't like how he's moved his keeper slowly to the side there. It's still going to go over, over him, and we are still going to get the goal. Dybala, that's a good run. Can I give it back to him? Not the greatest touch. Nah, that's where the ball control comes into play. Come on, CR7. If he takes a very like light touch there and just goes for that quick pass, we've got a goal. But because he takes a very heavy touch, it just doesn't allow us to get the angle. So Dybala. His runs, by the way, are exactly the same. Like, there's no difference when it comes down to the movement. And that's something I'm loving to see. The fact that he's instantly straight into the space. He's realizing where the open space is. He realizes where centre-backs are moving out of positions. It's something you love to see, especially in that striker position. Ronaldo, come on, Ronaldo. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. Fake shot around the corner. Little ball roll. Nice dribbling. Give it to Dybala. It's a wide open shot. And we are going to get the assist. And we are going to get the animation because we are next-gen. And... Oh, I thought we was actually going to get a celebration animation. Apparently, the camera just decided it wanted to go mental. Either way, nice dribbling from CR7 to keep it very calm and keep it very close to his feet. And just a simple pass towards Dybala. 1-2, maybe. Give it to him right there. Nice touch. Scoot around the corner. Ball roll to the inside. Well played. Oh, I tried to use that freestyle weak foot. But hey, if he wants to use his stronger foot and he wants to get that goal, I will take it. But really nice dribbling and very good to keep it very close to his feet with that ball roll. Give it to Aguero. Maybe he can make that running behind. I'm telling you, boys, the movement is still there on this card. It's nothing It's nothing different compared to, like, the gold card. His movement is still very precise. It's still very, like, perfect, let's say, where he realizes where the space is, where he realizes where the defenders are out of position, and he instantly makes that run. Dybala. Nice. Good movement once again. Decent touch. Maybe I can go for a quick one, two, or so on. Let's see if I can. Give it to him there. Well played. Migidi spin. That's perfect. That's Oh, that's perfect. The McGeady spin into a McGeady spin cancel to get that near post finish. And we are going to score another goal with CR7. So CR7 again. Use that pace. Maybe I can get a quick one too. Try to get him in behind. I think it's offside. Yeah, it is offside. His pace is very good. Without a doubt, it's very, very good. The only like big problem that I'm seeing with this card right now is that ball control. He is so awkward in some angles, which I never expect CR7 to be awkward in. Because you know how I've used the team of the year. I've used the gold versions. I've used so many CR7s in this game. It's ridiculous, right? To the point where me seeing a this CR7 kind of turn and it's not the greatest touch. It's so heartbreaking to see. Dybala, look at that movement once again, boys. Come on, keep going. Good touch, no way. No way that's not a free kick or penalty. Surely I got a little, you know, a little push in the back or something. Nice R1 dribbling, give it to Ronaldo. Gonna go for a Balassi flick. Oh my God, that is a very far, but that is the furthest Balassi flick I've possibly ever seen in my entire life. Usually it goes decently close to you, but that one, it went to Mars. So it is time to review him. Four games played, four goals scored with a single assist as well. Now, I must admit, one of the guys did actually pause the game and just straight up left. So that should be three games. Either way, this card right here has got similar stuff to like his gold card, you know, stuff like his pace. I felt like his pace was very, very similar to that gold card. I felt like the movement as well when going forward was very similar to the gold card. But it is stuff you're going to notice that is hugely different. Stuff like his ball control. You can't compare the ball control between the two. That gold card is so good at dribbling. With like the with left stick dribbling, with R1 dribbling, with stuff like where scoop turns around the corners and his skill moves. This one right here, it's good at it, but it's not as good. You can really notice sometimes in certain angles that his ball control just goes a little bit further than obviously expected. Stuff like his aggression as well, you can notice it immensely on that gold card, but you cannot notice it at all on this card. Like, that's something I loved about the gold card, where he, he would say his aggression would not be great, but he would really fight for you in game. This card, no, no chance. And his passing ability as well on this card, god tier awful. Like simple passes with this CR7 goes wrong. With that gold card, obviously it goes right. But do I believe this card is worth the 250k? Yes. Even though it's a worse version than the gold card, you have to understand the gold card is going for 900k. This card is not bad at all. He has the five-star skill moves. He's got great pace to his game. He's got the same movement when going forward as that gold card. 
and he is a very, very good card for 250k. And you also have to understand he is CR7 for God's sake. Boys, you're not going to get a lower rating than his gold card ever this year i feel like you're not you're literally not gonna get it so if you want to see our seven and you can and you think to yourself you're never gonna afford that gold version Go ahead and get this card, please. Do not miss out on this opportunity to get yourself a CR7 in your team. Pace-wise, I'm going to give his pace, I would probably say like a 9.6, 9.7 out of 10. Obviously, pretty much the exact same as the gold card, you know? Shooting ability. I felt like the shooting between the two, you could obviously notice the difference. Like the gold card is very precise when it comes down to the accuracy, when it comes down to the shot power. This card right here, it's precise still, but it's not. I feel like it's not as good, especially with a three-star weak foot as well. So for shooting, I'm going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.5 out of 10. Passing ability, I have to give it low. I really do. I'm going to give his passing a, like a 7 out of 10. It wasn't great, boys. It really wasn't. And that's something that I was really frustrated in, in some occasions, because it would be such a simple pass, and it would end up screwing up. I'll be like, well, what's happening here? This is not the CR7 I know. Dribbling ability. It has to be obviously lower than the gold version without that, right? Because of that pull control. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll probably still say like an 8.4, 8.5 out of 10. If that ball control and stuff like his composure was higher, I'll probably bump that up to like an 8.9, maybe even a 9 out of 10. But I really can't give it that high. Physicals. As I said, the aggression on that gold card is you know decently low but you could actually notice it like immensely in game you can see him fight for the club with this card right here you can't really see that so for physicals i'm gonna give him i'll probably say like a hmm i'll probably say like a 7.7.9 7 out of 10 maybe even an 8 out of 10 i'll probably be generous and give him an 8 out of 10 because it's not terrible because of the stamina and jumping is still there it's just it's not great but an overall rating out of 10 i'm gonna give this card I'll probably say like a, I'll probably say like an 8.5, 8.6 out of 10. As I said, boys, it's a CR7 at the end of the day, okay? Understand that rating could be low for a CR7, but you would understand if you end up getting this card and you already tried the gold card, you can obviously notice the difference between the two. So I can't sit here and just go overboard because it's CR7 at the end of the day. I still have to give you guys, you know, a, a respectful overall because he's a good card. He's just not absolutely insane. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.